We've installed and configured Visual Studio Code. Let's now discuss the common workflow and how to start with programming in C. The first thing to do would be to create a base project, which is the basis for all other ones. So let's do that. I've created an empty folder over here. Drag and drop it into Visual Studio Code. Go to Manage, Command Palette, and click on Make Inner Project and select the C project. We now have the make file, the directory source with the directory include in it, and the directory object. So we can tweak the make file, add a few options. The first is to add the include directory source include. Later on, if we start to add more files, so source files and header files into the projects, the header files will be stored in source include, and with this option they will be automatically found. The minus G option add debug information, and we have a few additional warnings. There's a typo in the make file at line 40, change cflex into cxx flex. Now done with the make file, let's go to source and create a main.c. So this, this will be the entry point where the code will start. It's customary to include the standard IO and the standard lib. So this will be the start point, the base project. You can store it somewhere. And what you do is you copy and paste and drag and drop the copy into Visual Studio Code and work with that one. Let's go to the main.c. So when you start out to write C code, you will place your code over here. And we'll write a simple printf and hello world. It prints a string to the terminal. You can click on the button over there and it will compile and run the code. You can see the string over here. So this is how to get started. Slowly you will learn more about C and how to program and write and expand the source code in the main. Later on you will, you will start to uh, want to organize your source code and for that it's, it's useful to have multiple files. So I will demo that. Also to show a little bit about the graphical interface of Visual Studio Code. I'm going to add a file vector.c over there and include vector.h. I can click on main.c over there to see the contents of the file, but I can open multiple files. So I can drag, go to the right and let go and now open both files. I can do the same with vector.h and move it over there. I've now three files open. But what I'm going to do as a demo, I'm going to put some code in the vector and then call the function which I'm defining in the vector.c from the main. So I'm going to define here a struct which I'm going to call vector with three elements in here x y and z. In order to see the definition of this structure over here, I need to include the header file. Then I can define the function. What I'm going to do, I'm going to compute the length of the vector. So I'm going to call it length. The parameter is a struct vector and I'm going to call it v. I'm going to return the square root of v.x times v.x plus v.y times v.y plus v.c times v.c. I'm using the square root function. So let's include the math header math.h and the function. I need to also specify that in the header file. I'm now done. I'm going to close these and then include vector.h from the main. So now the vector should be visible inside the main. So let's check struct vector v and I'm going to initialize the values to 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 
two and three. You can find it because we have included the header file. Let's compute the length of the vector. So we're going to say L is the length and we're going to pass it the V, the struct vector. And let's print out the length. So we're now done. We can click the button over there. It will compile and run. So we can see that the length is 3.74, which is correct. So I've shown you how to add files to it. The .c files goes into the directory source and the include file in the directory include. The make file will take care of how to compile it. Lastly, a few things about the Visual Studio Code interface. You can hover over the function and see that it returns a double and it needs a struct vector. You can also right click and you can see go to definition and do go to declaration. This is very convenient once you have many files over here in your project. So then you can right click and go to the definition and see the implementation of the function. Or right click and go to the declaration that goes to the header files. So I think this is a good starting point and I hope it will help you out with coding.